hello, today I'm here with a new video and this feels <laughs> so strange. I haven't put up a video for, I don't know when this is coming up, but for over a week. And I did, um, I put in my community tab that I wasn't like feeling motivated at all. So I just decided I will not force myself to film or edit because I have one or two videos that I haven't edited yet and I don't know if they are coming up or not. So I just wanted to do a get ready with me and <laughs> I really don't know what to talk Okay, I, I knew, I know some things I want to talk about. So yeah, and it always feels so strange to sit in front of the camera when it has been a while. But yeah, I am going to <laughs> do a get ready with me and I am going to guess what, introduce a little new thing here on my channel. Uh, I will come into that. I can maybe scooch a little bit closer. Um, so, today I am using my shades from Lethal. I have actually bought some more shades. I had these from before. I really love Lethal and then I bought one of the nine pan empty palettes and picked nine shades, of course. And the palette looks like this. It has a mirror and here are the shades. And I really don't know what to do. I have no idea. Maybe I want to take a picture on this before I use it. Uh, okay, I actually don't know what to do and I'm so warm. As you can see, I'm all red here. So I just lost the motivation for doing a video. Nothing has happened. Um, I am not infected by the virus that I know of. And I still... My normal day-to-day -day life is still going on. I am still working and right now I'm working a lot. And... Yeah, I have just been tired. I think I want to you use this this one, the gold shade. I think I maybe will start with this one in my crease. And I do not know the name of these. I'm sorry about that. So I hope everything is okay with you. I really do. Um, I don't know what to say. I didn't thought that I was so like affected of this whole corona thing and in my in my life I'm not I'm living my life as normal um because I do not go out much but I think it has affected me more than I thought because I I talked with it um, with my boyfriend and I don't know what I want to do with my channel. I have some palettes that I'm going to do a first impression on, but it feels it doesn't feel good to do like first impressions of things and showing new makeup and do a whole video and all because I know that a lot of people are struggling right now with a lot of things and I want my channel to be like a break from reality <laughs> But I don't know. I was planning on doing a whole video. But it doesn't feel like the right time for that either. If you want me to do it. I will do it. But I I am a little bit torn about this. Because it doesn't feel good to do like. Show off a lot of new makeup. And everything. When I know that a lot of people are struggling. And have lost their jobs. And are sick and everything. I hope you understand what I mean. I don't know how to put it else. Um, but there's where I'm at right now. 
and also I haven't had like any energy at all and I think it is because I have worked a lot and if you didn't know I am working at a warehouse where we ship out food to uh, around 70 stores in Sweden so we we have a lot to do because people shop food like crazy so we have work to do and it is a lot right now and I'm not young anymore I know that some of you hate when I say that but before when I was younger maybe like 25 I could work like 50 hours a week and, and nothing about that and now I like f work for like 45 hours a week and I am so tired so YouTube hasn't been a prioritizing thing for me I think I want to go in with red and gold to this I don't feel like myself And I felt a little bit, I don't know, not sad, but everything has just feel, felt like a struggle. And nothing has happened in my personal life. And yeah, I don't even know what to say. Usually I can babble. <laughs> I can talk a lot during my get rid of with me so now it feels like I don't know what to say but yeah another thing I wanted to talk about is if you didn't know I had a low buy last year and I did succeed on my low buy or I, what you now say I don't know but this year I have been shopping like crazy I have bought more stuff in the first three months of this year than I did the whole year, last year. And I feel a little bit bad about it. And that's also one reason why I haven't done a whole video because I feel bad about it. And I don't know why, but I just do. And I was afraid that YouTube was not going to be a thing that I was happy to do. And I want this to be a happy place for me. And it wasn't like that for like two weeks ago. So I thought like I'm just not going to record enough. I want to be one of these like super productive people that are going to work, uh, work full time, get home, or filming, or doing Instagram, is doing a lot of videos, meet friends, and work out. But I just can't. I am not that kind of person, and I think I just need to accept that. But it's a little bit hard for me. But I'm trying to and I I usually put up four videos a week and I think I still want to do that. I'm not sure but I think I want to. Right now for a couple of weeks, I don't know, I am going to take it like whenever I want to. Maybe I just need to do it once and then feel happy about it again. I don't know. But right now I haven't felt the joy with YouTube and that makes me sad because this has been a fun thing for me to do. And right now I haven't felt that. Maybe this video is not coming up. We will see. Okay, but a new... Thing I think I want to start on my channel and this was actually my boyfriend's idea and I want to do I'm sorry if you can hear my cat eating but she's hungry so I'm gonna let her eat um, 
I came up with the name. He came up with the idea. And I think I'm going to do a series that is called Second Impression. And I want to go back and look at my first impressions of palettes, multiple palettes. And then see if I feel the same thing about the palettes and see if I... You know when you're doing a first impression sometimes or trying a palette for the first time and you think like I'm going to love this shade and I want to go back and see if I really feel the same and if I have used the palette a lot and if I have like fallen in love with another shade or something like that. So I'm planning to do a second impression and also because it feels right a little <laughs> it feels like the right time to do can shop my stash and using things I want and I know it's very strange when I'm using new shadows but yeah I have had these for like a month and I haven't used them and that isn't a normal thing to do okay I really like this look so that is a thing I think I'm going to start with and we will see when that will happen And I'm not trying to explain myself in this video. I just want to talk to you and tell you what's going on. And maybe some of you feel the same way. I have a lot of friends that are doing YouTube. And I think it always feels nice to know that you're not alone with feelings. And especially like more difficult feelings or not good feelings, bad feelings. I don't know. So I just wanted to share this with you. So I hope that you are looking forward to that because I know that you, you seem to like my palette of the month videos and I am going to do that in April, I hope. I don't know how many videos, I don't know when the first one will come up. I will see how I feel after today. When I film this, if I have get my motivation back or not, we will see. Right now it feels a little bit strange, but it feels good at the same time. So yeah. Um, I think I am happy with eyeshadow like this. I really like this so I have used on this one this one and this gold one and I'm thinking to do like the same on my under eyes and then take this in my inner corner I think I am now going to uh, take away the fallouts I'm thinking about doing my base together with you because I want to test out a <laughs> foundation that I have that I haven't liked that much so like a little start to my second impression <laughs> series, but I am also making food right now and that has also been a little struggle because just because I worked so much I get home later. Like today I was home almost at 5 and I start at 6 so and then I like come home I took a shower, I washed my hair, and then it's time to start with the food because we are making pie today. And it takes a long time, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Uh, I'm going to take away the fallouts, maybe put my pie in the oven, and then continue. We will see, but it just will be that fast for you. So I will take away this, and then I'll come back. So, okay, I am doing a little, like... Second impression of uh, this one. I never put out a first impression of this. This is the Pretty Fresh from Colourpop. I haven't liked this at all. I think it's it's supposed to be hyaluronic acid in it and a tinted moisturizer. I don't like this when I ever tried it, but I'm going to try it today. And I think I'll take my milk makeup. A luminous Balar stick for primer and I I like this but I don't really know how like to use it 
I don't know how much am I going to smudge this on my face. But yeah. So, okay, I am a little bit warm. Like, spring has come to Sweden. I think it's staying for like four days now. I'm a little bit nervous about this. And I <laughs> don't know what I want to talk about more. It feels a little bit better to film now than I thought it was going to be and than it was in the beginning. It feels like I have come into this a little bit. But the main thing I wanted, I look a little bit cree cree, to talk about was that I am okay. I am. I have too much foundation on my hand and now it's like slipping away. I am feeling good. How the hell? Um, I'm feeling good. Just a little bit stressed at work. Nothing. Okay, I think I will have to use the viewfinder for this. I uh, maybe I should just shut up when I'm taking this on my skin. Okay, my problem with this one, with my first impression, was that I felt it was too like I had too much like coverage. And also that it felt pretty like dry in my face, but now it feels actually kind of good. I don't know if it is the blur stick that is making it better. I can't remember. I think I only used, I don't know if I used any primer under it the first time. But now I think I like it. I just want to have some more on my nose. My skin has been a little bit acting up now when I haven't felt my best and haven't got enough sleep. But yeah. Okay, I think I maybe like this one now. But I had one other problem with this. This ate my powder. I like the glow from this. I am... So... <laughs> With this video, I, I don't know what I wanted to do. I don't know what I wanted to say exactly. I just know that I wanted to do... I just miss talking to you. And one part of me f felt it was so nice to not doing any YouTube. Because I... Sometimes I feel so... I feel so boring, I feel so bad at what I am doing, I it doesn't feel like anybody wants to watch me and I have felt that for a while now so I think it was good for me just to not film anything. Okay, this is really real sticky still. So I'm going to take some powder but I like how it looks, it's really... I think it's a lot with a milk makeup blur stick but again, I'm going to use powder I just <laughs> wanted to let you know that I am okay nothing has happened but I feel like it is normal to feel bad sometimes and not feel like your best and I think it's important to remember that you don't have to have an explanation for it like it's okay to feel bad and just feel bad nothing must have happened or anything and I think at least I am forgetting about that pretty much it always feels like I have to have an explanation for feeling bad but I think that's just life I don't really I use the milk flex concealer I don't really like it even though I know a lot of people that I like the same stuff as, they like this one, but I think it's a little bit drying on me. But it feels <laughs> kind of good to maybe be back. I have missed it. I mostly have missed you. <laughs> it feels so strange when I'm used to put up videos four times a week and then just stop and I know for being like gone for a week it's not much time at all but for me it feels like 
I'm always a little bit worried when people I follow that upload quite a lot of videos and then they just stop and I am just like, are you okay? Uh, so if anyone of you was wondering about me, I don't know if anybody was, but I am okay. Okay, I'm now using one of my absolute favorite powders. This is the Nabla powder and I haven't, I didn't have this powder the first time I used this foundation. So we will see. Or this tinted moisturizer. But one thing that I actually have done now when I haven't been filming, I have cleaned all my brushes. And uh, that was something that I really, really needed to do. So, that is great. Can you feel my face? Oh, it's still so sticky. This is what I not like about this. It like never dries down. And my powder just eats away my powder. And even though I'm dry, I like to set my base with powder because I want to have like a smooth surface to do my contour. But I think I just have to go and see if I can do my contour without looking shitty on this base. I think I will go into eyebrows and I was first thinking about using this Colourpop. I don't know. Like a pomade from Colourpop. But this is Champagne Blonde and I think this is too warm. I like my brows cold tone. I think this is too warm. So I go in my trusty old <laughs> shadow from Melinda Hartberg. I used the <laughs> cigar shade. It's not that much left. And I will do my brows as I always do with this. And if you didn't know, Linda Hotberg, they came out with a new product. They came out with a single highlight. This Virgo. I was really hoping that they would take milk away because I have hit pen in that one. But they came out with Virgo. But I wish that they would do... Um, okay, I can't talk and do my eyebrows. Or maybe I can. I really wish that they would do like lose all of these so I just buy one new one because I don't know when this cigar is gone I can't buy a new palette just for the cigar and I really liked before to use pomades at my eyebrows but now I like to use shadows more okay now i'm going to do my contour and the blush and i am using the things in my shop my stash i think so we will see how this goes without have set my foundation completely i don't know what more to talk about but I hope that all of you are doing great or that you are doing good under this circumstance. And in Sweden right now we haven't like, we can still go out as normal and um, some things have closed and we can't be more than 50 people in the same room at once. I think, or is it eight now? I. I am not like, I am so fed up with the, this whole situation. Uh, I still like keeps up with the most that's happening, but it becomes too much for me. And I'm like, <sighs> something else. We, we should be able to talk about something else. Like in Sweden, it can be like three hours long like news thing about corona and only the covid and it's like okay this 
maybe something else. Because the world, it has stopped a little bit, but things are still happening. At least in Sweden, things are still happening because we don't have any curfew and we can do things. So things is happening. Not a lot, but like some things. It feels like the blush stucks a little bit here, but... Mm. So I think I'm keeping with my first impression on this. That I don't like it that much, this one. Maybe I should use it when I'm not doing any other makeup. Or maybe just a base and maybe put on some liquid highlight or something. I don't know. I'm using the Lunch and Money from Colourpop. I think this is least was one that I put for my shop, my stash. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think it works kind of good. Okay, now I just want to spritz my face because I am so warm. Okay, so for my under eyes, maybe I should just go in with on this one and then take this in my inner corners. I think I will do that. And the camo base looks pretty good and now it feels like it's set, but I don't like that it's so super sticky. And I can't like do anything about it. And I think I want to buy the palette from Lethal the Yuli Yulin. They did a palette in collaboration with um influencer from Germany and I think the palette looks really good and I've seen some swatches and I think I want it and yes I know that I talked about in the beginning that I don't want to new to do new first impressions all the time but yeah we will see how I will do okay I think I will go in with uh, this one that I had in my crease just to like take it a little bit here because I think it looks like it's missing and yeah this looks better and to top this eye look off I will take uh, this shimmery little topper shade and I will take my pinky because that is my new thing Maybe this doesn't work with this look because it has a little bit of purple shimmer. But you know what? I don't really care today. Or like ever. And I think it works. Okay, so I will put on something in my watch line and mascara and try to choose a lippy and check on the pie. And then I come back with the finished look and this get ready with me that I don't know what has been said or done. I will be back. Okay, so I'm done and something a little bit sad happened. I dropped my favorite pen from Colourpop and it broke. It's... My thing is coming up. So, yeah, and I like can't get it out. Yeah, I can get it out and then it's loose. So I think I have to buy a new one because I love this. This is dirty talk. So yeah, it broke and and for my lips I used <laughs> Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood because I like always use it. So this is the finished look with my Get Red With Me and my first like Get ready with me, a little bit introduction in my second impression thing, I don't know, maybe I think I will do that as a series and I hope that you will like it and 
I think I will start with like my first first impression that I did in English and see what I feel about this palette and I actually don't know which palette it is maybe it's the Vivid Bright from Colored Rain I think that's going to be interesting and also yeah I really like this palette I love <laughs> Lethal's shades and yeah, I really like these. This shimmer was so good. This gold one, I don't know the name of it. And I... Oh, I don't want to take it out of the palette. So, yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And thank you so much for being here. And take care of yourself. And I really hope that I will <laughs> come back. I, I, I know I talk like it has been... Such a long time since I was on YouTube when it actually like a little more than a week. But I haven't filmed for longer than that because I pre-filmed a lot. I was in a really good like flow with pre-filming and editing and then I just like... No. Um, so I hope that I am back now and it feels better now than I, when I started this video. And it feels like I want to do more videos right now I feel like that but yeah I really hope you like this video and I have like talked about everything and nothing as normal for almost like 40 minutes I think so yeah and a little side note my pie smells amazing and it looks pretty good if I can say it myself I have done it all by myself I've actually started to cook more at home before I did not my boyfriend cook for me, but I have done my own pie uh, the second time and it smells amazing. That's just what I want to say. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that you all stay safe, take care of yourself and others. And yeah, I hope I will see you soon. I hope. Bye.